I'm going to talk about a specific JSHL command that's helpful in general, but it's very, very helpful when you're working with classes, and that is the edit. You can technically edit previous commands, but you can always do that by pressing the up arrow and then you can you can change stuff, you can edit things, but then that's not what I'm talking about. There is a JSHL command called slash edit. What this does is allow you to edit your previous commands, and there are various parameters you can pass to it. So let me first do a list. Now here are all the valid commands that I've executed in this session. Now I can edit any of these commands by typing slash edit and then the line numbers. In this case, let's say I wanna edit the, the second line, line number two. I type two here. What's gonna happen is there is a Java window that opens up with a text editor that loads up that particular command and you can actually edit it inside this text editor. This is very handy when you have a large amount of text. And here I have a button which says accept, which uh, accepts all my changes. Whatever changes I do here is gonna accept that. I can press cancel or I can press exit, all right? So I'm gonna, uh, I can also use this to exit from that window. I can edit previous commands. So for instance, if I were to have a class declaration like this, I can say slash edit and then the name of the class. I don't have to bother looking at which particular line number it is. I can type the name of the class and then it is going to open that same edit pad, but I have the class definition over here. This is super handy when you're working with classes, like I said, because these can be really big. So here, let me say I wanna add the private modifier for these uh, member variables, which is always a good idea. I have getters and setters. Now I can click up accept and notice what happens when I click accept. This replaces the class person and then it has updated the replaced variable P like you would expect, but then the definition, the class definition is what we have entered over here. Now if you notice, this prevents the prompt from working. As long as the edit pad is open, the prompt doesn't work. So I have to exit this and now I get back the prompt. Now if I were to type person p equals new person, and then I do a p dot and press tab, here I get the getters, and I wonder what happened to the setters. So let's see, I might have made a mistake. So I'm gonna do slash edit person again, and um, well, here's where I made a mistake. It should be set rather than have overloaded methods for get. So I'm gonna hit accept again and then exit. And now if I were to say, uh, well, it's reset P now. So I'm gonna say P equals new person. And now if I do P dot and press tab, I get the getters and the setters, all right? So this is how you can conveniently edit previous lines. And then finally, if I just do a slash edit without specifying any line numbers, I get an edit pad with all the previous uh, commands that I've entered. So you get everything in one shot and I can make any changes here and then press accept and it is going to update the thing that I've changed, all right? So this is a, a good way to edit. If you're not comfortable with editing large pieces of code in the shell, you can use the slash edit command to open up this Java window, which is a more uh, friendly way to edit large amounts of code.